Let me educate you a little bit about wind and hail damage. In the back behind me here is two houses. You've got this one next door here and then the one over here. I have both of these on contract, so we're getting ready to do both of them as well. However, you'll notice that the wind has blown sections of these roofs off, okay? And what happens is the wind will basically just strip those off. And in, in some areas that may not look like it's wind damaged, it is because the wind has lifted that shingle up so many times, it's tore through the nail and it's actually ripped the shingle in many areas. And that's the thing that you have to go around and lift up the shingle to see if there's that kind of damage. A good roofer is going to be able to check all that and he'll be able to tell you if there is enough damage in order to get warrant having the insurance adjuster out or file a claim to have them out and have them come out and buy that roof for you. A lot of times there's only a little bit of damage so it's not worth you know having them come out if you got a thousand dollar deductible and there's three hundred dollars worth of repair there's no point in filing a claim in that case. With hail damage, hail damage is simple basically you're going to have little black round divots all over the roof in certain places. Sometimes it takes a real trained eye. There's some roofs that are damaged. You as a homeowner won't ever know because unless you've been doing this as long as I have or been trained really well on what to look for, you really won't be able to tell if that's damaged or not. I've got clients that go and say, yeah, my roof's not damaged. I've been up there and I've seen that. And then I get up there and it's really damaged because they just didn't know what to look for. That's wind and hail damage. I hope that's been a lot of help. Pick up the phone, call Masterpiece Roofing, let us come out and inspect your job and turn your house into a masterpiece.